Hi, I'm Laurel Ann Eschner with All the Arts for All the Kids Foundation. Today we're going to be making our very own version of pop-up books. Pop-up books are super simple and actually really fun to make. This one was a classroom project that was about the book Where the Wild Things Are. And when you open it up, the pictures pop up out at you. This is Max lying on his bed. Got one more that I want to show you that is like that. Let me show you exactly how to make the structure. First step is to take a piece of paper. It can be any size piece of paper, any color piece of paper, completely up to you because you're the creative artist. You're going to fold it in half like this. Then you're going to hold the fold. You're going to take your scissors and you're just going to make a cut about an inch long and about an inch away from each other. The secret to this part is to try and make it so that that cut is about the same depth. So they're about the same length of cut. I'm going to make this one just a teeny little bit longer so that it matches. Then you're going to fold one direction so that you folded it down and then fold it in the other direction. Then you're going to leave it like this. And when you open your book up, you're going to again pop that piece out so that it stands out like that. So that's the basic structure for your all your pop-up things. Then what you get to do is you get to cut out your creatures and glue them onto that so that it pops up. Another example is this one, where when you open the book, you can see that the tree is on the pop-out part and then a rock over here is on the pop-out part, so that when you open it, it pops. So once you've gotten this part done, then you can go ahead and use it. You can draw, you can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use watercolors, you can use oil pastels, whatever you've got. And you can take your picture and make whatever you would like. I'm going to make a big... This one is going to be a blue tree for today. And then I'm going to take my glue stick and glue it to the tab. So that when I close my book and then open it, there it is. So when you open it, it will pop up like this, but you can see that there's the tab here and then you stuck your, your picture up on this side. When you have your project all ready to go, so again, this is our page that we've got, and you want to turn it into a book, super simple. All you do is glue, this is another page, you glue the back of this page to the front of this page. And you can just do it with a big X. You can do the edges really carefully. And then you match the folds so that it becomes a book with pages. And you can have it go just like that. The art concept that we're teaching in this one, and this is a pretty fun one. In art, the things that are closer to the viewer are called the foreground. The things that are in the middle are called the middle ground. And the things in the back are called the background. So automatically, with your pop-up book, you've got the foreground that you get to decorate. You've got the middle ground of the whatever it is that's popping up. And you've got the background. So that's how you make your pop-up book. You can have tons of fun. You can actually make these with your friends where you make one page and they make another page and then you both write the story together with it. But remember, you're really, you're the creative artist where you could do cutouts with cutout paper. You could use big fat lines and skinny lines and shapes and patterns, but you're the one who gets to tell the story. You're the artist or you and your friend can be the artists and the storytellers and the authors of the book. So have a great time. I can hardly wait to see what you create.